cave booty. What's up, guys? It's the Dozen. We are back here in the Dozercraft SMP server. Oh, put it on. Put it on. There we go. Jeez. Um, so today, we're going to talk about cave booty, okay? We're going to talk about cave booty because nobody appreciates the cave booty. Everybody doesn't want to go caving. They think caving is a waste of time and it takes too long and it's not fun. Well, oh, oh. I'm going to show you why why getting cave booty and going caving is a, is a great thing to do. I, I got silk touch on every single freaking one of my tools now. I can't I can't even make torches right now because oh, can I do anything? I don't have anything. I can make like a stone a stone pickaxe maybe. <laughs> um but yeah, we're going to go caving today. Um well, I'm going to go caving. You guys will just be enjoying the uh the, the magic world of editing. God, I can't put down any torches. Okay, so where are we right now? We are obviously underground. Uh, this isn't caving. Uh, caving is actual caves. It's too easy to run through these abandoned mine shafts and get stuff. Uh, you gotta go actual caving, you know? Um, but right now, I'm in one of these because I want to point something out that I found that's pretty awesome. You guys might be able to put it together right now, but uh, I knew that one was down there, and then I kind of uh, made my way up here somehow. I uh, found another... So, if you're not watching the screen, there's a spider spawner below me. Cave spider spawner. There's a cave spider spawner right there. And also there's a cave spi uh, spider spawner back there. So, here... Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. You guys hear that? You guys probably can't hear that. But my headset just told me that auto shutdown was enabled. I'm not sure why. Hey, spider. Hey. Hey. You could just die. That's, that's fine. Um, but a triple... Triple cave spider spawner. That is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're also going to go upstairs. Uh, I'm actually under the water temple right now. Um, there was th this abandoned mine shaft below it. And I decided to do some exploring of it. And I found some pretty cool things. So, we are going to go caving. This doesn't count as caving because we're in an abandoned mine shaft. We're going to go find some actual caves and do some good old caving. I'm going to show you all the great stuff we get, all the cave booty we get. I've just got a little bit of cave booty right now. Look at that. Just a little bit of what I've done. I got a stack, almost a stack and a half of iron ore, and well over two stacks of coal ore. So, I mean, come on now. Come on now. It's worth it. Um, but right now, like I said, we're in this abandoned mine shaft right below the water temple. We'll go back over there and check it out. But I kind of want to help the water temple um, along a little bit by doing some cave lighting. So the only things really that are going to be spawning are going to be the guardians. Right now, there's... A lot of uh, cave space down here that's all dark and all these all these mobs and all these creepies are taking up all the mob cap and and uh, the guardian farm's running great. It's running very quick and awesome and we have a ton of resources up there already um, but it could be faster so that's what we're going to do today. Here is one, two, and three cave spider spawners all uh, within range of each other. So like th that one's back there a little bit, this one's right there, that one's down there probably right in this area um we can actually oh there's yeah perfect perfect let's see where we're at um we're gonna build a spider farm so we're gonna be able to collect did my voice just squeak a little bit more than more than usual um we're gonna make a cave spider spawner uh wow what am i talking about we are going to make i guess what we're gonna make guys for the third time we're going to make a cave spider grinder oh yeah we're gonna get tons of string for whatever reason um, just because we, we, we got a triple down there. It could be an experience grinder. Anyways, there is, uh, there's where it is. The, uh, that's where the water temple is. So we're not too far away. We're just outside of here. Uh, I'll leave this there and, and, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check that out later on. First, I want to go to my base. I want to, first I want to grab my silk touch shears. Oh, I fell. So I can get a lot of those cobwebs that are down inside that place. Um, probably in the next episode or a future episode, we'll actually get down there and start clearing out a bunch of room for this very, very, very simple string farm, I guess we could call it. It's not going to be any kind of crazy design. It's going to be very simple and probably more expensive than it needs to be as far as iron goes. You guys can imagine what I'm thinking already. But I'm just going to grab my silk touch shears so I can get those cobwebs out of there. And then I, I, I know of one cave entrance, at least. And I'm sure there's a ton of more caves underneath this place. But we're going to go caving today, and we're going to get all kinds of cave booty. 
Alright, I'm all cleaned up. I got a clean inventory now. Uh, the problem is, all of my tools are silk touch tools. Uh, I figured I'd just come back here and, you know, get some coal when I was down in the caves to make some torches, but <laughs> everything's silk touch. I can't get anything. And I'm trying to see if Will maybe left some, uh, some gunpowder, not gunpowder, some pff, coal around here. And I don't think he has. What, what kind of guy doesn't leave any, any coal around for somebody like me to steal? Nothing in here. Okay. Uh, I did leave him this sign because I took 18 steak out of here because I didn't have a whole lot of food. I wanted to make sure I had plenty enough, so I stole some from this spot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Will. I'll, I'll pay you back 18 steak sometime. Alright, close this up. I'm not sure who did that, but it, it's nice. I, I don't know. I think you might you might be far enough away down here that if you stand... Oh, this is the storage room, by the way. Oh, we just saw it up there. Crap. Man, I was going to give you a little bit of tour of what was up there. We'll go up there at the end of the video. We'll, we'll be up there again. Um, but I think if you stand down here in the storage room, it might actually be far enough away to, uh, to function it. But look at all this. Look at all these prismarine shards. Holy crap. I know Necro's been doing a lot of AFKing here. And I know, uh, Will does every once in a while when he comes down. Uh, the prismarine crystals, not so much. Not so much. I think, uh, I think people really want these. So they're probably going pretty fast. But yeah, here we are. Uh, all the ores you see in here, Will put in for for design. Oh man, that goes that goes down. That's dangerous right there. Um, but he has these places blocked off. Like, yeah, he put in all these ores. That's what I was trying to say. I think I finished that thought already. He has these blocked off. It says do not enter. That's just because this is the this is the danger zone. And, uh, where was it? There was some, I found some kind of cave and it went pretty far down. We'll find that. Oh yeah, it's over here. It's over here, I remember. Okay. Yep. So I've been this way a little bit. Went down here, I think. That goes down a ways. I didn't notice that before. But the cave goes up that way. If you come down here, I think it forks off. Uh, oh, MG just joined. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go this other direction. And I'm going to get all kinds of cave booty. And you guys are going to see why... Oh, oh, hello. Hello. You guys are going to see why caving is totally worth it. Alright, I got 22 coal. That's good enough to get a little bit of torches going on. Okay, so... This is where we start. This is our, this is our starting point. I'm doing caving with an iron pickaxe too, guys. Come on, I'm 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 showing you guys why this is so awesome. We don't need all this. We'll even throw that out. We're we're gonna start brand new. All right, here we are. So here's where we're gonna start caving. I hope it goes further than this. So it comes down, comes over here. Oh yeah, it looks like it goes pretty far. All right, so this is what we got so far. Got a few little things here. I'm going to do one stretch of caving. Uh, which basically is until your inventory is full or until you run out of torches. So I think I'm probably going to go until I run out of torches. And, oh, oh, some thunder going on. I wish I was over at my creepers right now and get some more charged creepers, huh? Yeah? Yeah, well, no, we're down here. So here we go. We have uh, one stack plus 24 on the clock. And once we run out of time, a.k.a. torches, that's when we will find out how much we got. And I'll even time it. I'll see how long it takes me. All right, there's my last torch. Um, I took a little bit of a break because I realized how quiet and tired and boring I was being. I uh, took a little break and got a little bit more awake. So hopefully I sound a little bit more chipper now. I'm not so monotone and sad. Like, I'm sad to record this video because I'm not and I'm, I never am. I'm very happy to record these videos. Uh, so that was my last torch. And I think that took me about uh, 15 minutes. I don't know, 20, 15 minutes or something. I, I didn't totally keep track of time like I should have. Uh, but what was that? Stacking 24 torches? With just that, and, and and we're done here. I'm actually still digging out. I, I'm digging out the stuff that I already found. Okay, it still it still counts. So this is what we got uh, just in that short period of time with the little that we had. We got just about two and a half stacks of coal ore, 21 gold, 38 redstone. And 49 iron ore. No diamonds or nothing, but then again, this wasn't really the greatest cave system ever. I'm still kind of going through it, but I just ran out of torches, so that's what we agreed on. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over towards my base, because I know there's a whole, that there's a lot of uh, untouched caves and stuff out that way. So now, I'm going to show you how to get ready for a big caving trip. Okay, it's time to gear up and get ready to do this, to do the dang thing. 
Um, I need to make a new pickaxe for one. Actually, we might have to make a new pickaxe. I'm going to go see if the villagers have anything cool down there. Um, let's get some coal. I've done this recently, too. Uh, I did, did it at the spawn base as well. I used to have one chest for coal, but now I'm getting so much coal ore. <laughs> like, look at all this ore. Um, I'm getting so much of that that there's no room for the blocks in the actual coal, so I have made them into, uh, into two things now, so that's good. So this is what I bring. I usually bring some wood that I probably won't build with. Usually it's like acacia or birch. In this case, I got a lot of jungle wood here. I uh, bring a crafting table. You don't got to bring a crafting table. If you just bring the wood, you can just make one um, along the way. Uh, I also usually like to have a full stack of... Uh, I always carry sticks. I have sticks at any given time. Like, that's always what I have. Arrows, sticks, and a bucket of water. I never mention that. I always talk about my hot bar down here, but I never mention this. I always have these. This is always my corner. It's always the ender pearls, <laughs> the arrows, sticks, and the water bucket, and my food. It's always like that. Um, anyway, so we want to bring a crafting table, or we can bring just wood. Uh, I'm not going to worry about sticks so much because we got so much wood on us. I'm sure I'm not going to be down there too long, but I'm going to go caving for as long as I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to put one of these pickaxes back. Um, wait, which one has more durability? I'll, I'll put the one with more durability here for now. We'll just use my regular silk touch pickaxe uh, for all the things that we need to silk touch. Oh man, look at all these villagers down here. Uh, I've separated them from the other part of the room. Uh, just because I don't really want them back there, they kind of get in the way when I'm trying to trade with those other guys. And I kind of want, want them all in the same area, sort of. Uh, but I've been getting a whole lot of emeralds lately. Ow, I just stabbed myself in the heel with a freaking nail on the ground. That was awesome. That was, I'm, I'm not even cutting that out. I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, look at all these Silk Touch books from the last episode. Holy, not the last episode, but one before. Ow, my heel hurts. That killed. That hurt real bad, guys. I hurt real bad. Um, how do we get back here? Oh yeah, we gotta end up just like that. Oop. Okay, let's see. You're not the guy I want. Armor? Is there an armor? Or a weapon? Or a toolsmith? Toolsmith is what I want, right? Okay, I found one out here. Let's see if he has a good pickaxe we want. Efficiency 2, unbreaking 2. Well, we can combine that a few times. And, uh, and probably get something good. I don't know why I waited till this late in the video to start doing some jump cutting, because I probably should have done that a long time ago. Alright, so we do that. You know what, we probably could have saved emeralds. And this doesn't really make any sense the way we're doing this, but no big deal. Uh, we, we could have just got uh, some books and put them together and did this exact same thing and probably not waste so many levels. But there we go, that's one way to do it. Now we got a whole bunch of uh, of enchantments put together. I don't know what, what I was trying to say right there, but there we go. We got a good work pickaxe now. We don't really need efficiency 5 or anything. We just got uh, an efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3, that's perfect for a work pickaxe. We'll just use that for all the things that we don't need to silk touch, and of course we have our silk touch uh, a thing going on. We also need, I also like to carry a uh, an ender chest. I don't usually walk through my house with you guys, I probably should do that more often, but have, have you guys really seen much of this house? I love this place, this is such, a, such an amazing house. Okay, so we need some blaze powder. Do I have any blaze powder here? No, no blaze powder, just just tons of blaze rods. Okay, let's do that. Might as well make two of these just to use them up. Actually, no, we can't because I only grabbed eight obsidian. Okay, so just one, and then da 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 da. And then, you know, who cares about this? We got plenty of ender pearls. We got plenty of, of uh, blaze rods. We'll just let that thing go. Goodbye, eyeball. Goodbye. Goodbye. Always nice to have an ender chest when you're down there mining. Uh, I guess I could put these these diamonds back. Okay, now we're ready. That probably took longer than necessary. Am I completely ready now? I think I'm completely ready. I'm full on arrows. Usually like to have full on sticks, but no big deal. We got plenty of wood. Um, is this empty? This is empty enough. It's how it should be. I always keep a fortune three in here as well. We're talking about mining today, okay, guys? This isn't like the normal stuff. I know I'm sounding really strange. Like, this is what you should be doing. This is what you should be doing. But really, uh, that's uh, kind of is what I'm saying because... Uh, <laughs> Because uh, that, that's just what I'm talking about in this episode. Oh, I was about to ask MG to sleep so we can get some daylight, but it looks like the sun's already coming up. Um, so this thing is full. I don't know if it's full of arrows. Have I put arrows in it yet? Nope, more eggs. Uh, this thing is fun. This thing is fun. But uh, somebody, it was actually Pope, freaking Pope, he pointed something out that would work a lot easier than this. So um, basically just build a chicken cooker with the lava, but put water in it. And I guess the chickens would drown 
and uh, and then give you their raw meat. So that'd probably probably be an easier uh, raw meat farm, you know. But th this one's really really. Uh, this came up came about because I was trying to think of a way to use all of the freaking skeleton <laughs> skeleton arrows, all the arrows we get from skeletons. We just get so many. I have so many piled up. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, so I was trying to think of some cool contraption that I could set up a, a pulsing thing and have it spew a bunch of arrows at something. And I thought the cool way to do it would be with chickens. That's kind of how it came about. And I know it's a ridiculous design. It probably isn't it isn't the best one. But I think I might try that. I think I might try that chicken cooker design. But instead of lava, have water in it. I really want to see if that works. Just out of curiosity. Uh, okay, so now we got some daylight. Looks like we're all set up to do some caving. Now I could probably shut up and go find a nice cave. Okay, so we're not far from home at all. You can see my beacon back there, but look at that thing. Look at this thing behind my head. What is that? What is that? I haven't checked it out yet, but I think I might know what it is. We'll just use this wood to pillar up to it, I guess. Uh, I've seen this happen before, and I don't know what will happen if I get close to it. Can you guys tell what it is? Look at it. Look at it. You know what that is? It's actually... A glitched skull of a wither boss. A long time ago, we fought the wither boss. I guess that direction, over, uh, over <laughs> in the in the desert. I'm struggling with words today. And it looks like this guy shot way out here. Look at it. Look at the wither skull. What the heck's going on? What the heck's happening? Hold on. Can I? Oh, this is great. This is great. This is gonna be a good screenshot. Wait. Let's see if I can get it in there, and make it look like I have. I have it in my hand or something. Uh, perfect angle. We'll just do that. We'll do that. All right. And screenshot. I guess the, the, that might be the thumbnail. I don't know. We'll find out. It, nothing happens when I hit it, though. It's interesting. I thought if I rubbed up next to it that it might do something bad. What if I do that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that is weird. We could probably do something with that. I could build a house up here and just have this thing laying on the ground. And people would be totally confused. Huh. Well, I fell. Oh well, I fell. That's going to stay there forever. We have a little less wood now. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave that up there. Who cares? Actually, I could probably... I think I might be able to reach it from here. No, I can't. I can barely even reach that. Alright, well, that's staying up there next to the skull. I guess we'll use that to mark it. Uh, now, where the heck was I? Over here. I think I found a nice little cave over here that we can do. Doing a lot of rambling and a lot of umming and eyeing and all this crap. I I'm really apologize for today's video, guys. I need... I need a lot more coffee than I've been drinking today. But I found this, and this looks promising. So so here we go. So you see my inventory. It's nice and clean. Uh, I've got a good work pickaxe now. We don't got to worry about silk touching everything. We do have the silk touch pickaxe if we need it. Uh, plenty of food. Um, plenty of torches. Two stacks of torches. I'm going to go until, until I feel like quitting. I, I'm going to go longer than those two stacks of torches. I'm sure I'll get way past them probably make a ton more torches in the meantime and uh i'm just gonna go caving i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy caving and i'm gonna get all kinds of cave booty and you guys are gonna find out why it's so awesome to go caving and why we need to go back it's like minecraft evolves things get automated people get lazy people forget about their roots and now all of a sudden there are players in minecraft who don't even like going caving they don't even like going mining or anything like that people you guys need to go caving. People need to go caving more often and and quit living off villagers. Jeez, guys. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I struggled through that rant a little bit. It was a little bit try-hard. I'll admit. I'll admit. There we go. Right off the bat, we got two iron ore. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to spend my day caving today. Oh, man, guys. I am exhausted. I have been caving for so freaking long. Just kidding. That's l literally the first thing. Uh, I just cut there for no freaking reason. Uh, but I wanted to mention that I'm also going to try to look for some cool things. Like, if, if we happen to find some cool stuff down here, any dungeons or any, like, cool-looking caves or anything notable, of course, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to clue you guys in along the way and bring you along with me. Uh, maybe if I think of something to talk about, I'll, I'll pop in every now and again and, uh, and talk about it, because I'm sure I can get some little bit of, I'm sure I can get a little bit of caving footage on. That, that's a good time to to do my rambling as caving videos. Uh, but anyways, nothing interesting yet. I'm hoping it goes down a little bit more. What's this? Just go down? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, it does go down a little bit more. I was hoping this wasn't 
This wasn't all of the cave. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I've done it once again. I've recorded way too much footage, so we're going to have to split this video up into two parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I did an outro for tomorrow's episode, so I probably won't bring this up again. But I do need to do an intro for the next episode because I'm splitting this in half and might be short on time for the second half, so I might record a little bit more. It's very confusing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know we didn't get to the end of, of the pirate booty. I keep saying pirate booty. The cave booty, uh, but... Tune in tomorrow where we do an epic long cave trip, or we get done with an epic long cave trip, and uh, you guys will see all the awesome things that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please click the annotation on the top right to watch the next video. Click the top left to watch the last video. Leave a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy that. I already said that part already. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease.